Yes, hello everyone. Welcome to Swiffler, India's most sincere learning destination for class 1 to 10. In Swiffler, we have 100% live and interactive classes. Personalized attention will be given to each and every student where the maximum batch size is 6 students. A dedicated academic mentor will be allotted to track and work on your progress. We also cover syllabus as per your school examination schedule. And also, we handle custom requests. Our key features is we provide you with a detailed progress report card on a monthly basis. Students can take Swift Learn Academic Test Series, a scholarship exam conducted every Sunday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Students can take unlimited practice tests. Now, all the practice tests are subjective as well as objective for your school examination. So, students, those are new book of free trial class today. Also, don't forget to subscribe our channel, hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update. I am Shashank, sir. And today I will be teaching you the second part of the topic decimals and it operations. So, yes, the objectives of the today's class will be we are going to compare two decimals. We are going to study different types of decimal numbers. We are going to convert decimal numbers to fraction and convert fractions to decimal number. In the previous class, we have learned about the decimals and the face value and the place value of the decimals. We've also made a place value chart for the decimal numbers. Okay, so let's make a place value chart for this number. So how to make a place value chart? Draw a box. Yes. Now place all the five numbers here. So I will be requiring five blocks. Okay, yes. I have drawn a small box, but you guys, you need to draw a big box. Okay, so write all the numbers here. 87124. Hmm. So 8 is in hundreds, hundreds place, hundreds. This is in tens place, this is in ones place, this is tens, T and THS. This is hundreds, hundreds place. Okay, I don't know why this is getting like this. Hundreds place. Similarly, this is in tenths place, ones place, tenths place. This is tens, tenths, THS. Okay, yes. So now, how to compare two decimal numbers? Compare two decimal numbers to recognize which one is bigger or smaller in value. Now we have 36.05, we have 36.5. Now, the number with the highest place value is the winner. So here it is tens, here also it is tens. So check the place value, it is 3, it is 30, 30. Yes, checks the ones place, it is also 6, 6. Now check the decimal part. This is 0, 5, this is 5, 0. What do you think? 0, 5 is greater or 50 is greater? Obviously 50 is greater. So yes, this answer is the bigger answer. Yes. So, since both of them have same value before the decimal, we cannot compare like this. First, we will compare the numbers before the decimal. See, they are having same numbers. Okay. Now, check now. We will compare the value of the number on the tens place. That is also of the decimal. So, yes, obviously, see this 0, 5 and 5, 0. This is greater. What if we have 36.56 as the first number and 36.50 as the second number? In this case, see this guys, 33 3 is same, 6, 6 is same. Check the decimal, 5, 5 is also same. 6 and 0 are different. So this is greater, yes. Yes. Which one is greater? So 0 0.51, 0 0.051 and 0 0.015. This is the greater answer. 0 0.55, 0 0.551. Okay, ye 55, ye 51, this is 550, this is 551. 0 0.550, 0 0.551. Obviously, this is greater. Here, 9 is greater than 6. This is greater. So, 2, 3, 5, 2. This is 4. So, this is greater. Yes. I have one more problem, guys. 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0 0.03, 0
जीरो विच वन इज ग्रेटर सम ऑफ यू में से सर ये वाला ग्रेटर है नहीं ओके सो सी दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो सेम दिस इज ऑल्सो सेम This is also same. This is also same. This is also same. This is also same. So here thirty A three. No, here if I don't write anything, it is zero. This is also same. This is also same. So they are equal. So remember this thing. So what are the different types of decimal numbers? There are like decimals and unlike decimals. Decimal numbers which are written up to the same decimal places are like decimals. For example, 5.25, 17.05, 272.87. See, they are all written up till hundreds place, so they are like decimal. If they are varying, if they are written varying spaces, so they are unlike decimal places. Decimal numbers which have different places of decimals are unlike decimals. So this, this, this are unlike decimals. As 4.5 has only one decimal, this has two decimals, this has three decimals. So they are unlike decimals. Equivalent decimals, equivalent decimals are the decimals that are equal. For example, 0.1 is equal to 0.110. ये मैंने डिस्कस किया हमने. So 0.1 and 110. Let's look at the representation of these decimals to understand equivalent decimals in a better way. Okay, one tenth. It is like a Kit Kat chocolate. Okay, so very big Kit Kat chocolate, and it has Kit Kat chocolates. Me rehte na slices, like a big chocolate with ten slices. So each slice represents one by tenth or zero point one. Okay, so this represents zero point eight zero. Okay. And this also represents 0.8. Yes, because 0.80 is same as 0.8. Now, equal number of decimal points. These are like fractions. These are unlike fractions, and these are equivalent fractions. So let's solve. Make a group of like decimal fractions. Okay. So it should have two two. Oh. Till two places, I am going to circle it. Okay. Till three places, I am going to underline it. See, I have made a group. Choose equivalent decimal fractions. 0.5 is same as 0.50 is same as 0.500 is same as 0.5000. 0.512, 0.51 अलग अलग है, so उनको नहीं करना है कुछ. Yes. Okay, so what about this? Are they connected somehow? No, they are not connected. Yes. So what are the following decimals equivalent to 0.4? Which of the following decimals is equivalent to 0.2? 0.4. Option C. Which of the following decimals is equal to 0.38? This one. 0.380. So can we convert the decimals into fractions or fractions into decimals? Yes, we can. Okay. So the fraction one by two, which is equal to zero point five, we know this. We half is zero point five. Now how to convert this into fractions and all? Let us study this. So simply divide this one by two. We can't divide two zero two ones are is two. So two zeros are zero. See this. So let me show you this. One divided by two is nothing but two zeros are zero. Put a decimal point. Add a zero. You can add as many zeros as you want now. Two five ten. Yes. So one by two is nothing but zero point five. Got this? Yes. Five by four. Convert this fraction into decimal point. See this? Five divided by four. Four ones are four. 
remainder is 1. Now, you want the answer in decimals. So, put a decimal point here. You can add zeros now. Okay. Five, 4, 2 is 8. 10 minus 8 is 2. Okay. Write 8 this side. 10 minus 8 is 2. Now, this 0 we have taken here. Now, add one more 0. 5, 4 is 20. So, 20 minus 20 is 0. So, 4, 5 is 20. So, 5 by 4 is nothing but 1.25. 1.25 is the answer for 5.4. Convert the fractions into decimals. So, easy. So, let us divide this. You will get the answer. 4 by 5. Divide this 4 by 5. 5 zeros are. See, 5 ones are is 5. I can't subtract 5. I will get a negative number. So, 5 zeros are 0. You get 4. Now, you can add zeros. Put a decimal point. Okay. So, 5 fours are. 5 eights are. 40. 40 minus 40 is 0. 5 by 8. The answer for. 5 by 8 is 8 zeros are 0, 5 as it is, put a decimal point, 0, 8 eights are, 8 fives are 40, 8 six are 48, remainder is 2, put a 0, here you can add, you, you can leave, okay, just for understanding, 8 twos are 16, Subtract 16, you are left with 4 and 8 fives are 40. So, 40 minus 40 is 0. So, this answer is 0.625. Let's solve for 2 by 5. Yes. Write 2 inside and 5. See, 5 I can't divide. 5 zeros are 0. Now, since I have put a decimal point, I can take as many zeros I want. 5 fours are 20. 7 by 8. Last problem of this slide. 7 by 8. Seven nines are 63. Okay, 8 nines are 8 is a 64, 8 nines are 72. I can't take 8 nines are 8 eights are 64, 6. 8 6 are 48, 8 7s are 56. 8 5s are 40. This is the answer in decimals. Now, this is how we convert this in decimals. Converting decimals into fractions, okay. So, very easy. See, it is having so write the number without the decimal in the numerator and write the denominator by inserting as many zeros as there are on the right of this, okay. After the decimal points, how, how many numbers are there? Insert that many zeros. So, 625 divided by 100. Now, simplify this fraction, okay. Let's divide it by 25. 25, 25 are 625. 25, 4s are 100. So it is 25 by 4. Now this is an improper fraction. We can write it in mixed fractions also. 4, 6 are 24. 1 is remainder. So 6 integer, 1 by 4. This is how we write in fractions. Okay. Now, yes, it is saying click here. Let's click here and see what it is going to show us. Hmm. Okay. So, very small writings are there. So, we will take this afterwards. Let's skip this. Hmm. Okay. So, what did we learn today? We learned how to compare two decimal numbers, types of decimals, convert decimals into fractions, converted fractions into decimals. So, all these things we did in our today's class. So, that's all for today then. So, students, those are new, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update.
आई एम शशांक सर साइनिंग ऑफ